Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for my dearest Geminis where we take a look at your next romantic partner. If these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button. Also subscribe to the channel. Um, your love and support means so much to me. Geminis, you guys show up for me in a really big way on this channel consistently. So I just want to let you know how much I love and appreciate you guys. All right, so let's get started. Let's launch into this. Wow. All right. <laughs> so we're going to keep the Capricorn energy strong earth. Um, that wants to come out. Absolutely. Um, remember, this is more of an energy reading than a signs reading. But this person may be a Capricorn or have that in their chart. Work and stability are a high priority to them. They, are, they can also be relied upon to get things done. All right. So nice. We also have wealthy. Ooh, Gemini. So you're calling in someone with a lot to offer. They may have worked hard. So we hear work hard, work hard coming out a lot in this reading. Um, to achieve their success, a comfortable lifestyle is indicated. Your person comes from a large family, all right? They may appreciate the connection with their siblings and family reunions. And this is also somebody who's very independent, so they have a strong sense of self. They're self-reliant. It's important to strike a balance between individualism and connectedness. Yeah, this person definitely prioritizes their finances, stability. Um, I feel like they may have a nice house, a nice home, um, and we get Aquarius energy. So with a highly developed intellect, this sign is the pioneer of ideas. They are engaging communicators. So this is also somebody who, um, you know, they're, I'm getting that they this pioneering energy um, they're very unique and they can have sometimes an air of detachment about them. Um, so just be aware of that. But I feel like Gemini and Aquarius energy would really make a nice match or nice pairing. You guys are going to have fun conversations, probably connect on an intellectual level um, in a very powerful, positive way. And yeah, I see you guys having a lot of like long talks into the night, but just laughing, having a great time together, really connecting there through communication and conversation. I love that. All right. Some of you, this could be an online connection, but let's see. What other messages do my Geminis need to hear regarding their next romantic partner? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So I do feel that your person has definitely learned from their past mistakes. They don't want to rush into anything. I do feel that they have a lot to offer Gemini and they're going to take their time um, there may be delays or frustrations within this connection, either getting it off the ground or if you're already dealing with this person. Um, remember, we are dealing with somebody here who does work uh, really hard. I'm not totally getting workaholism off of this energy, but they definitely prioritize that. Um, and the Seven of Pentacles tells me they're looking for somebody who's going to... Like they're ready to share their responsibilities. Um, I feel that, they, that this person kind of has everything they need, but they don't have love. So they're really looking for a partner. Um, and it doesn't mean that you have to exactly do everything that they do, but somebody who's going to also pull their weight is what I'm seeing. Um, we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, so your person definitely could be an overthinker. Um, with this Aquarius energy, um, Capricorn energy, They're. I feel they, they're... They like their regimen. Um, they're probably very strict about, um, I'm getting with diet and exercise, but also with their routine. So I feel sometimes like thinking about love and relationships can sometimes throw this person through a loop. I also feel they've probably been through a difficult period as we all have, right? We all come to relationships with a little bit of baggage. Um, I, I just feel that your person's a little bit nervous or hesitant to share what they've worked for, although they're looking for the right person. I do feel this person may have been hurt in the past or they may get a lot of attention because they have a lot of wealth, because they have a lot to offer. So they tend to sort of overthink connections because I do think this person has been either used or, um, or taken advantage of in the past. Although I don't feel that it's easy to take advantage of this person. Um, but I, I do feel that they are kind of, I, I, I get this energy that they feel like they were naive in their past relationships and they may have, they're putting an end to that. So I feel this person is very, 
uh, boundary oriented right now. They may set strong boundaries and maybe you might seem, they might seem a bit harsh um, because, because they've been burned in the past or because they're kind of swinging a little bit to, you know, the harsher side of things. What I mean by that is this person has strong boundaries. They're being very careful with whom, you know, they get involved with. They have nervousness and anxiety about love and relationships because they've been hurt. Um, so I, I feel like just there's a little bit of, um, there's a little bit of tension there. They may either pull back or they might seem um, a bit direct at times, but I think it's more just a reaction to what they've been through. Yeah, large family, 10 of swords. So yeah, your person has definitely been through heartache and loss. I feel they've probably been single for quite a while. Um, you know, they may share children with somebody from their past. Um, I also feel this person I'm feeling, they may have one or both parents who are deceased. Um, they may have received a little bit of inheritance from them. Okay, or inherited, you know, a, a business, a family business even. That's not going to be for all of you. But your person has been alone um, for a while. They've definitely been hurt and they're prone to overthinking. And we get the Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you have to be just a little bit aware here because what I'm getting is that your person can sometimes come off as cold and detached um, and they are independent because, you know, you could even be dealing with somebody who's a widow or a widower. Um, and th they're very self-reliant. They're very, um, they're very independent because I feel sometimes the emotional stuff is hard for them. Um, so you have to really gauge whether or not this works for you. But I kind of feel like it's, it's not surface level because they've definitely been through something. But I feel like they're ready to let somebody in after a long period of being on their own or they've worked really hard and now they're really looking for a partner. But I feel this person needs freedom and a sort of healthy room and space to breathe and not so much to date and to see other people, but just because it's like a hard sell to like move in or share their lives with somebody right now. Um, even though that's what they want, I feel it makes them quite nervous. So we see the Knight of Wands. So this person may seem like they have one foot in the door, one foot out. I see that. I absolutely see that. They've been burned in the past or they're used to being on their own. They could be a little bit advanced in age. Um, that's going to mean different things to different people. Um, but the Knight of Wands energy, this person definitely has some fears around commitment. Um, yeah, and I feel like also sharing what they've worked for or what they've built um, seems quite daunting to them. And with the Ace of Cups, I, I feel this person needs to do some heart chakra work or, you know, that's going to be difficult for them. Or maybe it's something you really need to take into account, Gemini, about this person's heart chakra. You know, is it open? Can they open it? Um, and, and be aware because they might sort of give off a little bit of a player vibe. I don't get that that's really the truth. I think this person's just more fear of a fear of commitment because they've lost or been hurt in the past. Okay, so just be aware. A very independent soul coming your way. So we get Avenger. Yeah, so this person's definitely been through something that was really unfair. Um, I do feel that there's karmic justice here, though, with you guys coming together, that there's potential for this to be a very healing, supportive relationship if you want to hold space for this person, Gemini. If you really like them or you really see this as something worth channeling energy into, it doesn't mean that it has to be difficult, but I do see that underneath the surface they've been hurt and they're anxious about sharing their life or higher levels of commitment. Um, this person may have gone through a very difficult divorce or separation. Like I said, they may have even lost um, you know, lost a, lost a partner. Um, they may have also had difficulties with, if they had sort of a large family unit, whatever happened with their previous partner, they may have mixed families, um, or they might have lost like a lot of friends and family in the divorce or the separation is what I'm getting. So it does feel like they've been through something really unfair. Um, something that's just been very difficult for them to process. Yeah. But this person Gemini is at the same time, despite this, this is somebody who's going to steal your heart. And like I said, I see you guys connecting. You know, you might steal their heart. I feel like this person might be really taken off guard by you, Gemini. I'm seeing my Geminis being fun and flirty and love witty banter. You know, Geminis oftentimes flirt by poking fun or making jokes. And I think you're going to sort of take them off guard, open up, 
have them sort of open up that heart chakra. Um, yeah, I, that's what I'm getting. I mean, this card does say that, you know, sheds light on potential wealth within you that can never be stolen. But I just feel you're going to steal this person's heart. I feel this person, you know, they're, they may have been involved with somebody that was a gold digger in the past, or somebody that took them for all they were worth, or somebody stole money from them, maybe even a family member. So they, if they don't have connection, maybe they come from a large family. Um, you know, that they might have broken away because there was something that was unfair that was happening there. So just be aware of that. Um, yeah, somebody has stolen something from this person. I also think you're going to steal this person's heart and it's going to send them a little bit um, into like a, a nervous energy. They're, you know, they're going to feel like what just hit me with this Gemini energy. All right, we get exorcist. So yeah, this person has a little bit of a fear of the unknown. This person has a little bit of a fear of getting involved again. Um, but I feel like you're going to play a really big role in freeing them of any sort of destructive impulses, freeing them of their fear of commitment. I, I feel like you're taking this person by surprise and you're stealing their heart. And for some of you, they may have been rejected by their family. There could have also been, if there was like a death in the family and there was any money involved, they may have like a really tough um, or broken relationship with siblings or cousins or something like that. I just feel they've been through something kind of nasty involving money and a little bit of thieving and something that's unfair. It could be a divorce. It could be uh, an inheritance, something like that. But it's just you feel like such a breath of fresh air to this person, Gemini. Hmm. And we get networker. So this is somebody that this is somebody who may have a lot of social contacts um, they may know a lot of people, but I also feel that's your energy kind of infiltrating this person's, you know, energetic field here. You know, my Geminis for the most part are, you know, like to be sort of chatty and sometimes are the social butterflies of the Zodiac. Um, so I feel like you might meet this person either through work or through friends. You might even be set up with this person. Um, I think this person is good at networking. Um, they, um... I like this energy because despite what they've been through, this connection feels like karmic justice for them and, and maybe even for you. Um, I feel like you bring something very fresh, very fun to their, to this connection, Gemini. Now I do see with the King of, uh, sorry, the Knight of Wands here in reverse that you're going to have to take it slow. This person has a strong sense of self, may not want to or give off the energy that they want a higher level of commitment. You have to honor that and see if you're willing to sort of hold space for this connection to grow and blossom into something. Um, so I do feel like you may need to give this person time. They might set strong boundaries up, but don't be completely overwhelmed by that. You know, if you're okay with that, you know, live your life. Don't put your life on hold. See where things go. Because I do see despite some of this negative energy that they may have they may bring to the table or they may have been through, there's a real possibility here of something beautiful coming coming of it. So we see this energy of servant. Um, yeah, I, I'm seeing for some of you guys, this person may have a little bit of fear-based thinking around money. They might have, if they came from nothing and they built their own wealth, they might, they might take care of uh, siblings and family members, but I, they are going to prioritize their wealth and their stability. They might have a fear of not having enough, okay, and that is something to really take a look at. Um, but some of my Geminis, you know, you might just be okay with that. You might be prioritizing your work and your schooling or your life, your family, whatever. And it, I see that this could actually be a connection where it works really well. Um, and I see that, but I do see this person being worried about not having enough or losing what they lost previously. Okay. And that just sort of is a repeating message here. All right, Gemini. So you've, it's, it's slightly complicated, but you know, it doesn't have to be all that bad. Okay, let's see. For some of you, this person may have come from a very privileged family, like maybe where they did have like maids and butlers. I mean, I know that's not very many people out there, um, but I feel like they've there's been some sort of family rift um, that this person has, you know, has made their has either made their own money or 
yeah, I'm just, I'm getting there's either, there, there may be family problems. If they didn't come from a very wealthy family, um, I feel that this person takes care of their, either their parents or their siblings. And it's, and you know, and I feel it's a quite a heavy burden that they're happy to do. Um, but it, it's something that's very concerning for them. Okay. So just keep your, keep, keep that in mind. And I know this may not resonate with all my Geminis out there, so make sure you check your moon and your Venus signs, especially for relationships. Um, North Node, Sun and Rising as well. Not sure which one you're here for, but just check your signs if this one doesn't resonate. All right, so they're known to be sarcastic. I definitely get that because usually people with a highly developed intellect are quite sarcastic. They have like dry sense of humor, not always, but... Um, music will be playing when they ask you out. All right. Has dark hair. Okay. I'm hearing something here about piano music or classical music. I don't know if they like that or you're in a place where it's that sort of, I'm not going to say elevator music, but I feel like when the music I heard was piano and maybe classical. Grew up in a better than average household. So yeah, this person may really come from money. But I feel there are some tensions there, either with siblings or cousins, or maybe they experience some sort of death in the family. They're vegetarian, okay? Maybe they're vegan um, or vegetarian. I also feel this is somebody who does pay attention to what they put into their body, um, you know, not only just for like humane reasons, but also that they're conscientious of eating healthy and, and living a healthy lifestyle. Um, they may That might be a shift that has taken place for them. I keep hearing, and I didn't want to say it the first time I heard it, but this person could come from a family that was accused of white collar crime, or maybe they have been in the past. I know that just sounds like a movie, <laughs> but I, it's the second or third time it's come up, and I kind of ignored the message because I thought, you know, okay, that sounds crazy, but for some of you, um, there's something here that may, whether it's whether it was, you know, tax evasion or something like that, or their family was accused of, or or they were some sort of white collar crime, just be aware of that, okay? Um, not so much, I mean, I think my Geminis, you can fend for yourselves out there, um, but it, that might just resonate with some of you, and it's a very weird message. <laughs> but hey, it happens. So we see interference. I feel interference in this connection, Gemini, is this person's work. Really, they've got, they're, they're almost married to their work or they prioritize work and their family. Um, so you just have to see if that works for you. All right, so we see radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. So yeah, this person is working on releasing the past, their past hurts, their past disappointments, maybe, you know, a marriage where they lost everything. Maybe there was, you know, something illegal in their past even, or, you know, difficult family relationship. But I kind of feel, Gemini, that you play a really big role in making this person take a lighter perspective and, or you know, have a different point of view. Like you bring some fun and lighthearted energy to this person's life. This person is wealthy and abundant. And I also feel this there's some sort of karmic justice here, um, whether that's for you or for them. Detached with love to clearly see the truth. So for some of you, they, they are detached from their family or there have been family rifts or problems. Again, a fight over an inheritance, um, shady dealings, something like that. But I also feel it's really important that you guys take a look at compatibility here because I do feel that at times, and not that all Aquarius energies are detached, but they may have a detached or avoidant style or love, love language. So just make sure that works for you. Okay. If it doesn't, you know, you take it as a lesson, you move forward. So don't get too emotionally invested before you before you figure this person out, okay? And an addiction is affecting this relationship, okay? So there are some bad behaviors here, but with the exorcist energy, I do feel that this person has worked hard on purging any sort of bad behaviors. They may be going through a bit of an awakening. Yeah, and your message and your advice here is to go slow. Yeah, go slow and see if this works. There's gonna be some really amazing um, bits about this connection and then there's also something else that needs to be looked at so just don't get too emotionally invested Gemini before you you know you have the whole truth you know what they're offering you 
and whether or not it works for you, okay? Interesting messages, gems. Interesting messages. Don't rush into this. It feels complicated, but like I said, there's also, there's a lot of abundance here. And I don't just mean like wealth and 3D material abundance. I mean, there's potential here for you to have a beautiful connection. Um, and with this addiction energy, I kind of feel this person is going to obsess over you, Gemini, in a healthy way, hopefully, you know, that you, you bring something to their life that they've been lacking and it feels like it's fun, lighthearted energy. So let's see love language gift giving so this person is somebody who's going to go big when it comes to gifts when it comes to dinners um yeah flowers like i feel this person's that's part of their love language is gift giving so open your heart so i told you interesting heart chakra needs to open gemini i feel like you are going to open this person's heart but with that said, remember your role is not to fix or to save anybody. But I think this person is opening their heart to you. Love is the highest energy of all. Let it in. I feel they haven't let it in in a while. And you're that person that's, you know, you've got the key to their heart is what I'm getting. Falling in love. Sudden feelings of this is the one. So this person may fall for you quite hard, quite fast. And again, that, that might be what kind of throws them in a little bit of a tailspin with that Nine of Swords and the addiction energy. They weren't expecting that or nobody has made them feel this way. Mm -hmm. All right. And love language, quality time. Be the witness to each other's lives. So get to know this person, Gemini, before you jump in. All right. But I feel this person is going to, um, you know, maybe in the beginning be very boundary oriented, um, not expecting to fall in love. You might be worried that they might be a bit of a player. I don't get that. I feel they're much more focused on work and stability, their business. Um, but I also feel that like, you know, once that once they have this sudden boom, I can't let Gemini go. I'm in love with Gemini. They're going to really let you in. And I feel they haven't let anybody in in a long time. And you guys are going to have a very strong physical connection, the sacred union of bodies to becoming one. So Gemini's not without its challenges, but for some of you, this is going to be, you know, a perfect match. So let me know down in the comment section how this resonates or um, if you guys want to uh, private reading, I've got that listed down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if these messages resonate with you. Also, I've got the cards I'm using listed and linked. I'm not sure if I just said that. <laughs> and um, feel free to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. All right, guys, love and light. Take care.